friends come and go. Goodbye. I ain't got time to be hard. I'm hurt. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. What's good? What's poppin'? Let's go ahead and get into the topic. Okay, so this video is about friendship breakups and just friendships, period, versus relationships. Well, probably not versus, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. We're not talking about the friends who want to hit you up when it's time to go turn up. We ain't talking about them, okay? Who want to hit you up to tell them their problems? All right, capiche, I'm out of here. Thank you for your energy. We're talking about the ones that you know you can tell anything to. You know you didn't share struggles with. Y'all didn't talk about goals. Like, y'all didn't been through Friendship it. breakups hurt just as bad as a regular relationship or hurt. Friendships can probably be neck and neck low-key because it's a certain loyalty with a friendship. Like, this might even on no sexual level. It just put you in this childlike energy. I don't care how hard people try to act. When it comes to a friend break up, somebody that you trusted and love, and you you feel me? Like, you just feel like it was this cross you. That brings me damn near to tears. Like, me and my best friend got into it before, and we get into it a couple times, but it's never on a level of it's no return. The same way I'm going to pull up about a dude, if he pissing me off, I'm pulling up about my friend. I'm blowing up that phone. I'm sending paragraphs, because this is deep to me, bitch. My friend is lucky he stay hours away now. Because that pull-up does hit different. By the time I get there, I'm going to probably forget what happened. But Some people don't understand how special it is because it's coming from an innocent place. Versus relationships, you got to have sexual and emotional deepness and touchy and feely. One thing I have experienced was me ending friendships based on a person being in love with somebody or in a relationship. And I know that's pretty common. I don't know about y'all, but for me, my friends is a priority in my life. When you have a partner that ending your friendship with somebody, that's definitely a red flag because they low-key feel like, no, I'm the one who's making you happy. I am your main source of happiness. It's me. Manipulation, I don't know what it is, but also have a friend that understand my friend would not be available as much as they was when they didn't have kids. They wasn't engaged, married, or in a relationship. It's really a balance. The people who do have close friends or had a close friend, you know it's it's that feeling. You know if we don't talk in a week, it's cool. But at the end of the day, when I text you or I come around you, it's really a vibe. I don't care how long we go without talking, but once we link up again and that energy shift it's something about it you can tell when something died down you can tell when it's a little negative energy in the air whether it's envy jealousy or somebody feeling away you so used to this person picking up the phone hang you up checking up on you or inviting you places and then you look and they just out they just doing them. It's like you just never existed. Or when you just start feeling uncomfortable. Sometimes things are for a season. And it's so hard. You know how you can be in a relationship for so long and once it ends, you are in denial about it. Oh my God, this is really done. And let's be real. We work out relationships with our partners more than our friends. Sometimes things grow apart. But sometimes some friendships are worth fighting for depending on what it was. One thing I do not accept and won't ever accept is when it comes to telling business out in the public. Once you start telling my business on social media, for a fact, it's definitely no return. As you grow together in a friendship, one person will probably be on this level. The other person will probably be here. Be happy for your friend. We didn't talk about this. Like, we didn't literally sit up in a car and talk about these moments. You needed me at one point. I needed you. You pretty much grow together. Do y'all think the reason why most people don't give friends as much chances as a relationship is because of how high of a standard it is, how pure it is? Like, think about it. Versus a relationship, it takes a lot of more energy to keep it together versus a friendship. The fact that it don't take too much, it's just loyalty and vibes. This is all it took, okay? We ain't had to do none of that extra stuff. You ain't doing it with me. We ain't over here smooching and cooching, cuddling. This is simple. This is just all out of us being us. You think that's why, though? I feel like a friendship 
kind of heal our inner child. The things we wanted as children, somebody to talk to, somebody to tell your deepest, darkest secret with. And most of us, especially in the black community, we didn't have that. When you find that in a friend, somebody you're not blood with, or some random person you didn't met, and it's like, wow, you giving me all of this. Sometimes you don't even much hold family to a certain standard than a friend because family is family. You can't help that you're a family. With a friend, it's like, I let you in. I never knew you in my life. I picked this random person, kind of like a relationship. It was given organic, it wasn't forced. And as time went by, things just happened naturally. That's the root of a friendship. That's what causes you to have this emotional attachment towards a friend. A relationship, you can go do you. You can fall out of love with me today and go want to be with another person and be done with me. Family, you ain't asked to be my family. Hell, we just on this earth and this is what it is. But a friend, come on. The bitch, the baby, this is a freaking union at this point. We talking on the phone. We telling each other about the relationships we in, the people we talking to, the people we dating. You don't talk to your mate about the deepest and darkest secrets of a friend. Most likely your friend gonna get all the tea. Some friendships are worth fighting for. But if one person is not on one accord with that, then it's just a cycle. It's just time to let it go. So once we get older, some people mental change, some people lose sight of what's real. The same way with a relationship. Some people just lose sight on what's real. It could be because of what they're going through mentally or outside their life, or some people just don't care no more. We all have an intuition. We know them friends, we can fight through it. Like I know like this situation, we can get over this, but we also have some friendships that, nah. Some people are just stuck in their ways and that's something we have to accept. It depends on how the friendship ended and it's gonna always take two, but like I said, Jay, yeah. me and my friend fall out and I'm feeling the way, I'm gonna be in my feelings. And I'm probably ready to fight. It's gonna get toxic. I don't like that. So, you my friend. Same way relationships you thought would last a lifetime. You let it go, you healing from it. Sometimes with a friendship, it just end up that way. I want my man and my friend to have a cordial bond. I want the person I'm with look at my friend a part of me like family. That's the only option. All that envy and jealousy and red flag. Nobody on this earth will come between me and my friend. Sometimes if you in a relationship and the person you will have this little envy feeling about your friend, it's because more likely they don't know what it feel like to have a real friend. In most cases, we met these friends when things was at a minimum. We were probably at our lowest, you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So yes, it does hit different. It's okay to have friend separations, take breaks as well. But true friends, they can be so far away and you still feel them. Friendships are so spiritual. And when everything else fall apart, that friend, that true friend, you know the ones that's gonna be there. You ain't stupid. You know the ones you comfortable with. You know, like deep down, you know. So learn how to separate them friends from the people that's just here for a season. I met female friends that I don't talk to no more and I'm planning to have them in my wedding deep down, you know, and when they break apart, it's like, damn, who calls? Y'all, I'm sorry, I have a nets in my house. I'm a clean person, I clean up. I don't know. Subconsciously, we probably don't realize it, but we expect our partner, somebody we will in a relationship to do these horrible things. I don't know why, I gotta get deep into that. Versus a friend, it's like, whoa, like I never thought you would do this to me. One thing about me, I'm gonna be in my feelings. The same way I would be in my feelings about that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a passionate scorpion, okay? Once I get my female friend, if I'm feeling the way, I'm gonna be expressive. I'm gonna communicate. A lot of friendships end because nobody don't wanna communicate, which is weird. Say how you feel. I can tell when something wrong with my friend. I can tell when the vibe is off. So I'm gonna say something about it. I'm definitely not gonna be quiet about it. What's good, what's popping, what we gotta do? 
<laughs> I'm so toxic sometimes. <laughs> Why I'm just resorting to like bottling it out with a mud. I'm ready to fight. Friendships are so fun. And sometimes you don't even much want to talk to the person you will. And it's certain things you only want to talk to a friend about them. You don't even much have to talk about nothing. You just want to, what you doing? Pull up. Because you just need that comfort of a friend more so than a lover sometimes. And sometimes it's like that. Having friendship breakups, it hits different. I'm just not about the cow. Oh, friends come and go. Friends come and go. Yeah, goodbye. I ain't got time to be hard. I'm hurt. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you feeling the vibes, like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what's tea in the comments. Thank y'all. See you next time. <laughs> oh my God, so lame. <laughs>